Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part 17 of the supply ship build. Today we're going to be building a couple of storage tanks for both diesel and jet fuel so that way we can keep the tanks full on our small boat as well as being able to refuel a helicopter when it lands on the back. After that we're going to head away from the island and test out the small rescue boat and make sure that it launches properly and the refueling system works. But anyways guys, as always, I hope you all enjoy and let's get started. Alrighty, so once again, here we are in the workbench. So let's start with these two tanks we're going to put in. So I was thinking we might actually get rid of these doors down here and we're going to change this around a little bit. So they can go. That means that wall just one block thick. No, it's two blocks in this case. That all can go there. Nice. And we're going to break into this little, I think it's a pump room. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to get rid of all of that as well. And we're going to put our tanks in this middle part here. So what is going on here? This is odd, is it? Okay, that can all go. We're going to get rid of these and this whole area just there and all of that. Very good. Or not that piece. Just like that. Very nice. So all these pumps are actually going to get moved over to the side, I think, is probably where we're going to put them all. So let's grab this whole little area. So all of this, please. The pumps and all the way down to here. Should I grab the bottom as well? I may. Oh, I think we might actually leave that bit because it's got a little sensor on it. So we'll come up one. Okay, we'll just come up two. <laughs> we'll sort those little ports out afterwards. So let's move that, yes, and we're going to take this around to the side. I got it all, don't I? Yes, we do. All right, so we're going to grab this. We're going to move it over this way, and we're going to rotate it once, and we're going to come over a couple more up there, and we're going to drag it up like so. I think that's where it's going to go. So we'll paste it in right there, and we're going to merge it together. Very good. Now we've got to break into the wall just on the one side. So they're just here, are they? So they're going to come into this room still. Yes, they are. Good. So that one is there. Awesome. So let's get some pipes and we're going to run them straight through. So let's go straight, straight, and then we'll go a port on each side. So we'll just go like, can I get that to go that way? One and two. Very good. So that should still fill up and drain pretty well. All right, so we'll get rid of both of these and we'll just replace those blocks. Very good. Get rid of that one. And these ports can both go as well. So we we'll replace those. Boom, boom. So we've got this one right here and one right there. Awesome. So let's go port. We'll grab two of these ones. Turn them around, one there and one there. So we'll sort out all the painting later on. So that should all work now. Nothing else has been changed. They're all still connected to what they need to be. Very good. So in here is where we're going to have the tanks. Let me just fill that piece in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back onto both sides and we're going to, hmm, we might just fill this whole wall in like that, make it go across there. So that would just be a pump room now, I suppose. So we have to block both of them off. Okay, kind of makes a lot of that space redundant, doesn't it? Maybe we can use this side for something. We'll work it out later on anyway. But for now, let's just get these tanks in. So we're going to actually split this area up. Oh, we could probably... No, we don't need that area. Um, so this is all going to get closed off. Boom, just like that. And along there. Very good. So there's only one way into the engine room now, and that is that door. I don't know if that's the best idea or not. What's on the other side there? Microcontroller room. And what's over here? Nothing. All right, that's fine. Anyway, let's keep on going down here. So... I want to split this in half. We don't need the tanks to be very big at all. So if we have like jet fuel up here and diesel down the bottom, one of these bigger than the other, five blocks tall, six blocks. All right, what if we have the jet fuel on the top being, we need more of that, don't we? Yeah, probably. Okay, so we'll have the diesel in this bottom one. So let's get some spawners in and the bits and pieces that we'll need. So let's go over to here. This is the middle. Good. So right here, we're going to have a spawner and we'll do the same thing on the top. We'll just go right there. And then above that, we're going to have a meter. So we're going to need a liquid meter. So we'll chuck that right here, turn that around and do the same thing underneath and boom. And now we just need ways to fill these up and empty them. So maybe, is that come all the way to there? Yes, it does. All right, so what if we have a few little pumps and whatnot? So let's just open up a little bit of area here. Actually, let's do this on the one side. We're not going to need it on both. So these are the two tanks right there. And whereabouts do they come up? So let's go up through here. So they're going to have to move over. One block, go up this wall and go along the roof, I suppose, to get to the back. And then we're going to need a little refill port. What if we have them? Well, it's got to come out over here to fill up the helicopter and the boat. And then maybe the refueling part can be over here somewhere, I suppose. Maybe we could make a similar little thing like that one over this side. That might be pretty cool. We have like some refill ports and stuff over here and a bit of equipment. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe we can do that. Uh, so what we could probably do, what if we copy this whole area here? We'll go like this. And we'll just grab it and put it over there. Okay, that's it exactly. That's what we need. So grab it, flip it around. So that is opposite, is it? If we turn it around that way. Yep, that's pretty good. So drag that over and stick it right there. Awesome. So we'll merge that together. And then we just have a little bit to fill in here, don't we? So we get rid of 
or them and make them yellow, I suppose. And then I'd say some of these posts are gonna end up going, but for now, we'll just fill that area in. So we're gonna have, these don't need to be there, do they? So we'll just open that up for now, because we're gonna have a refill port for the jet fuel and the diesel, okay? So if we put some, sort of not a port, a fluid hose anchor on here, so that will be either diesel or jet fuel, and then we're gonna have the same thing over here. So then we have a toggle button. Yes, yeah, so we'll grab one of them on each side. And then over here, what did we use for this? We used a little sign, did we? A paintable indicator. Okay, what if we use one of them on each side? So maybe one can have a big J on it, one can have a D. So now we just break in here, and we're gonna make these pipes come straight down. And we're also gonna need some breathers on each of those tanks too, so we can't forget that. Anyway, let's sort that out after. Let's go straight pipe. We're gonna come down, I know this area here, turn that around like that, and one right there, very good. So we get a few pipes. Connect these up, so that should be pretty good. So they come out right here, alrighty. So that will have to come down to here somehow. So if they come over, so we're gonna need some more pipes. So now we need an angle, needs to come over this way. Same with this one. Why are they so far apart? Actually, I don't know what I'm doing that for. Let's move them right next to each other, I think is probably a good idea. So turn that around like this and like that. Very good, so they gotta go up to there now. We can just use some regular pipes, I think, so that should be fine. So let's do the diesel one first. Come over this way, and we're gonna come across to the wall, and then we're gonna come down and join up with the other one that goes through the floor. So we'll come around like this, and that's gonna go straight down. We could put some little brackets on it as well to make it look like it's as connected. Um, so we'll sort that out as well. But for now, let's just come on down, and all the way down to about... Yeah, should I make them move over in the wall? Would that be a better idea? Let's do that. Let's get rid of all of this. And we're going to do this again. So if we grab a little angle, come along like uh, that. So whereabouts that come down? Just there. Okay, what if we came down and then went along the wall? That might be all right. Let's do that. And just like that, so we have the port facing in. That will go straight up to the little connector on the top. Very good. So now we've got to do the same thing with the jet fuel. And then we've got to sort out a relief valve for these. And then we've got to get them going towards the back. So... Let's go back to pipes and we're going to do the same thing with this one. So we're going to just come over to the wall. I think should we just come down there. That'd be all right, won't it? Yeah, it should be fine. And we'll grab a little straight pipe and come across a couple. So turn that around, go over there and we need to head straight down to the floor. Very good. So we'll grab one of these and you can see what I'm doing. Turn that around and come all the way down just like this. And this one here has got to go straight to the jet tank. So let's turn that around one, come down a couple very nice, and then we'll just come down to the bottom of the tank, I suppose, to about there. Very good, and we're gonna do the same sort of thing with a little pipe, turn that around, and it's gonna go straight into the tank like that with a little port on the end, and boom, nice. So next up, we need to sort out some relief valves. So if we just come straight up from here, um, we'll just make them come straight up into up here. We're gonna move across one block, I think. We'll go like this, and then stand that up, very good, and that might just come straight up and come out on the floor or about here. Would that be okay? Oh, that's right next to that button, isn't it? Okay, what if we just come up through here then? That should be fine, so we'll make a little hole just there, and we'll chuck a port on the top. So this will be the pressure relief valves, okay? So we'll just go pipe, and we need to come straight back down into here so it stays sealed off, so one, two, three. Okay, so that one needs to connect up to this one here, so we'll just come up a couple, up like this, all the way up to there, and then we're gonna move across and then up so we go over like this come backwards yes come over here one two and straight up into there very good so now we can put a little gas relief valve on this one so if we go relief valve and we'll just chuck that right there so hopefully that works it should do anyway uh, so let's do the same thing with this one we're going to make it come up right here so that will come straight down into the room so we can see where it is there good so we go little port and a few pipes Let's go like this, come down a few, about there it should be fine, then they'll pop back in, or actually we can come up one more, can't we? Come along here, or should we come in first? Let's do that, grab an angle, come inside, and then we can use some regular pipes again. And that works out just fine. So we have the relief valve going up on both of the tanks with the little gas relief valve up there. Nice, so now we can fill that back in. Hopefully that works pretty well, I assume it will. Let's just fill that in too for now. We'll sort out the paint afterwards. And now we just need to get the fuel all the way to the back here. So maybe on, we've got something on that side. Maybe on this side, let's have a little refueling box. Let's go, let's try and do the exact same thing over here, actually. So that starts at that two, it comes out three, then has an angle. So we'll go about here, three, and right here is the little angle. So let's turn that around like 
this and come up to there. Very good. So that is the same as that side. Nice. I like that. Very good. Now we should probably have a little uh, fluid thingy-majiggly on there. So we'll grab a fluid hose anchor. Chuck that right uh, here, I suppose. Won't hurt. Good. And a little toggle button to pump it out. Very nice. We'll chuck that right here. And we're also going to need another one for jet fuel. So maybe that can be the diesel one. And then we might have a jet one underneath it, I suppose. Because we don't know what kind of helicopter is going to be landing on here, do we? So we're going to have one of each on here. I suppose we'll have to do it like that. And then we'll just label these the same as the other ones. So we'll make this one jet fuel. And then we'll go back into regular. And this one will be diesel like that. I suppose. Hopefully we remember that. Maybe I should put the little labels on these ones too. I'm just going to go and copy these ones that we made. Where are they? Here. Awesome. So we'll go down here. Grab the jet fuel. Yes. J for jets. Copy that. And we'll drag it down here. And then we'll do the same thing with the D. All right, so that is that all finished, which is very good. So now let's just get a few little pipes sorted for this one. So that's got to be a straight pipe there. So let's go pipe. Going to need some of these. And they're going to have to come straight into whatever this area is. What's that? Oh, that's just that blank space that we made. Okay. Um, right. So let's just go up here, come up, and come up like that. You're good. So let's do the jet fuel first since it's the furthest away. So let's grab a little pipe. Let's go like this. Good. And that one will come straight forward. And we go like this. Good. Okay, these are in the same spot now. That's nice. All right, so let's... Oh, can we come straight back down into here? No, we better not. Better stay in that little area, except it ends right there, doesn't it? Okay, I don't know where we're going to make these go, actually. I suppose they're just going to have to come out here. Okay, what is that doing? Okay, that's blocking up that. We'll have to put something there. We'll use a straight pipe instead, I suppose. Go like this. Turn that around like that. Good, so let's connect these up now. Let's just go like this all the way to there. And this one comes all the way up to there. Good. So the left is jet fuel, I believe. So we'll come up to here. Now we're going to use some regular straight pipes. We'll go like this. And then they've got to come down on the wall. So I'm going to actually have to move these all over, aren't we? All right, so let's just grab a block. Fill that in. Grab one of these ones here. Go along like this. That one is going to have to come out one extra, isn't it? Okay, that's a little bit strange, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go like that, and then this one will come straight down, and this one will come over, just like that. So they're both going to come out right here. Let's come down and down there. All right, this is not going to be the same on each side either. It's just going to be on this side, but that's all right. Come up like that with a couple of straight pipes underneath here. Go like this, and then, okay, that's good. Now we'll send these straight forward over to the tanks, I suppose. So let's grab a little angle, turn that around, and another straight pipe for this one. It's going to come down one extra. Turn this one around as well, and we'll bring them both to here. Very good. We'll grab a straight pipe. They'll come through the wall. Boom, boom. Good. And then they need to come all the way to here where the tanks are going to be, right? Okay, this is a, a lot of pipe, but that's all right. Let's grab this, turn it around like this, come along. Do the same thing for that top one. Good. Okay, we will put some brackets on these to make them look half decent as well, so don't forget about that. So I suppose these are going to go underneath the floor here. Um, so we'll go like this. We'll get a couple of angles. Go like that. Make it face down ways. Good. So we'll come underneath the flooring here, won't it? All right. So come down a couple. Down a couple more on this side. Then go this way. Boop. And this way. Nice. Now, whereabouts does this tank start and end? Let's make a little hole. That isn't even the tank there. Whereabouts is it? There it is. Okay. So we've got to come over a fair bit more actually so that's yeah so that room here is oh this is nothing there it's got two blocks thick i wonder why that is right that's one of our ballast there so we're gonna have to leave that one okay let's just leave that as is let's just pretend it's one wall we'll come along like this go along here so one of them has to go up to the top which is the jet fuel i believe let me just backtrack and see no, so the one on the top is actually the diesel. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> let's turn that around this way. I might swap them over because this one's going to fit a little bit better into this side here. So we'll come over to there, I suppose. Then this one's going to go straight down into the diesel. And this one's going to go across into there, I guess. So go port, chuck the one of these on the end of there. Grab one of these ones, turn that around, and that will go right there. Very good. And this one's got to come down. And then we've got to go swap the J and the D over. Because they ran the wrong way. Let's come down here. And boom. And grab one of these. And then it needs to go in. And then put a port on the end of there. All right. So they have both been swapped over. So have the diesel there and the jet fuel there. Very good. So we still got to add pumps and brackets to all those. But just before we do that, let's add the pipes into this one. Then we'll do all the pumps at once. So this one needs a pipe as well. So this can come 
all the way over, I suppose. I have it in the floor, go all the way to there. That didn't interrupt anything, I don't think. That should be fine. And we're going to come out over here. So let's go pipes in white so we can see what we've done. Turn that around that way. Let's go to there. Let's sort it out in here first, and then we'll move into the actual engine room. Let's come across. Then we need a little angle up, so that will go right here. This one can go that way. Nice. A few more straight pieces along there, and then we should sort out this little piece here. So go up, and a little one that comes that way. Good, so that one is connected. So that is the diesel only on this one because we don't need jet fuel down here. So that will come all the way out to here. So we'll just probably have a pipe run along the wall, I suppose. So if we grab an angle, make that go this way, turn that around, good. And grab a straight pipe and we're going to go under all the windows down to there, I suppose. Come all the way along, very good. And oh, we'll probably have to go down here, I guess. Grab a little angle and we're going to make this go straight to the fuel tank. Okay, so that is all plumbed in. Now, the only thing we need to do is add a few pumps in now. So let's grab a fluid pump. So we need one to go that way. So I think if we just chuck it under here, should be fine. Go like this, turn it around that way. I believe that way is out. Let's have a look. Fluid out, yes, it is good. So we have that one going out. Now we need these ones. One of these is a refill and one isn't. Let's work out which is which. Okay, so this one here is still got to fill up. So we'll put a pump in here and on here. Let's turn that around that way, there and there. So that should be coming in to fill up both tanks, very good. And then the ones on over here need to go out way. So if we get rid of both of these, turn that around that way, we'll go one and two, so that will pump out up there where we need it to go. I believe they are the only pumps that we're going to be needing, so that should be a-okay. So we've got all the buttons hooked up for them. So what I might do, I might fill in all the walls, all the fuel tanks here. I might give everything a bit of a paint. I'll connect everything to a bit of power and make some brackets to make it look like the pipes are all held up rather than just floating in midair. Something like these, I think, should be just fine. So I'm going to do all those things, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, so all of the pipes that we put in today have all been painted and have some brackets on them to make it look like they're half connected at least. So we have some over there and some on that wall. We also have all these ones connected on there as well. Everything is also connected to a bit of power and should be ready to go. I'll just quickly show you. We put some dials on to see the level of the tanks for the jet and the diesel fuel. Um, so other than that, I think we're ready to give everything a bit of a test. So we'll spawn it in, then we're going to get a little boat out and go for a couple laps around the ship. All right, and here it is all spawned in. So let's jump aboard. Oh, we still need to add some ladders onto the side as well, don't we? So we can get on and off without having to teleport. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that at some point, maybe next episode. Uh, let's go up in here. Let's move forward a little bit so we have a bit of room to muck around. Come on, there we go. Very good. Just come out of the dock, just enough to get our little boat out. And about here should be just fine. So let's stop right there. Awesome. So let's go down into the launching room, all the way down to here. Nice. Let's turn on a couple of lights actually while we're here. Those ones and those ones, all good. So let's jump in our little boat. Let's turn this thing on first. So number, what have we got? Number one. Yeah, throttle up slightly. Okay, the RPS uh, more than high enough. And we'll push number six to go in reverse and we're gonna disconnect. There we go, nice. So let's put the clutch up a little bit. Should start coming out. There we are, good. And back in forwards and we'll give it full throttle. Let's go forwards, come on. And don't run to the boat. <laughs> Very good. All right, so let's just do a little lap around the boat. And we're going to come back in and see if we can dock this thing without breaking too much. That would be ideal. All right, so let's just come around this way. We might throttle down a little bit. I think we're, oh no, we're only at 6 RPS. All right, and here we come into the back. We're going to come in nice and slow. And then we're going to turn our connectors on. See if we can do this first go. That would be excellent. Okay, slow. Yep, very good. Okay, we're in the spot. Let's turn on our connectors. And boom, there we are. Very nice. That was smooth. That is good. Uh, we haven't used much fuel at all, so I don't think we're going to be able to test the refueling system, <laughs> but that's all right. Let's turn the boat off. Yep. Okay, very good. But basically, I'll just show you. We just grab the little hose, connect up like that, and turn the pumps on. And then, same with electricity, we connect up the little cable up to there and turn both of the charge buttons on, so that should work pretty well. But other than that, this is all ready to go, which is really good. So let's go back up here. I might just teleport up onto the deck. Let's see how much is in our tanks. We got 13,300 liters and 11,000 liters in the diesel. Okay, that is pretty good. I like that. They seem to be working. I don't know why they're. Why is something flowing out of that? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> all good. But anyway, guys, next episode, I think we're going to add a couple ladders on the side and we might actually do some painting in the engine room down here. It is pretty bland at the moment. There is not much going on, so we need to sort that out. We also need some lights in here. 
as well as in here as well. Okay, yeah, we've got a fair bit to do. So we might do a little bit of painting, a little bit of outside work and some lighting I think will be a pretty good idea. And as always, um, if any of you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know down below and I'll check it out. But for now, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next one.